We're gonna be doing a high fade with a textured top. Let's get straight into it and waste no time. And we're actually going to do the top first, okay? So the reason why we do the top first is because we wanna create the foundation on the top first, then fading it into the top. So the first step I'm going to make, grab the front, pull down, and only take around roughly a centimeter and use point cutting to take that length that we want off. We don't wanna to cut too much. He came back around a month ago, so we're only gonna cut a month's growth, which is about a centimeter. And once we created that first centimeter, we're going to match that point right there all the way across. So now that I've got my guide for my shear work, I'm going to continue that to the other side and take off around just a center. Look if it's even. See how this side is a little bit higher and this side is a bit lower? It's because he has a calic up here. So we're going to comb it all down and just snip from what we see. This allows us to accommodate for his calic that he has. So you can see right here, this hair wants to go up. This way, it wants to go this way, this way. So just leaving it natural, using our shears like this to point cut it, allows us to accommodate for that cowlick at the front. Now, my next step, I'm going to be using the comb, do a section in the middle, right where his nose is, over direct that to one side. Now that I've got our over direction on this side, I'm gonna create a foundation on this side. I'm gonna start at the crown area, at the back area over here, over direct the back to the side to start my first guide line. And I'm going to take around an inch and a half and cutting it just to where his ridges. This will create the weight over the side so then we can match the fade into it later, okay? Continue that all the way to the back and all the way to the front. Boom, connect that. Now that is our base from the front to the side. Now I'm going to do a profile section in the middle. This is my first profile section, over directing it to the side and doing this side over here. Boom, and combing it this way. So that will be our first profile section. See how it's in the middle like this? I'm going to take that section right there and then come up, match it towards the front. So you see how the front is a lot shorter. So we're going to match it where it starts to fail off. I'm going to take that and point cut. Boom, and then now that's our guide. We're gonna continue that same line all the way to the back. Now we've got that one profile section in the middle. I'm going to take horizontal sections from the crown back here. That's my first guide. Grab that section. There's this one profile section that we cut, boom, right here, and then long over here. So we're gonna match that and continue that same guide all the way across. Then make my second section, continuing that all the way to the front to get a nice even canvas. And then the top is pretty much done. All right, boom. Now we've got our top ready. What we're gonna do now, grab my diffuser and I'm going to blow dry it. And I'm just putting my hands through, scrunching it and then grabbing it forward until it's all the way dry to create that nice, nice texture. I have it on the lowest. If you have it too high, it's going to make everything frizzy. Now that I've dried it, I've got my nice texture on the top. The reason why we've cut the top is now we can fade it into the foundation that we created here. You see this weight line that I've created? Using clipper over comb, okay? We're going to start off by scooping in to take a bit of bulk right there. I'm gonna drop that down. I don't care about down here, I just care about what the bulk is looking like on the sides over here. I'm trying my best as I can to connect that. Now I'm gonna come in with my main clippers and going closed, coming in just under that vertical bar. So that vertical bar is right here. We're going to just go under that. The reason why I'm having my clipper faced this way and not this way is because it's allowed to be easier to take off this line at the end, okay? Then moving on to my next step with my one guard coming in open and going a big, big inch above that line. I only need like two pass-throughs. So you see it, this is my second pass-through. Now I'm going to flick up, right? Just gonna slightly flick up at that line for my first pass-through. Then my second pass-through, I'm gonna go even a little bit higher, tiny bit, just a tiny incremental bit. And then now my next step is with my two guard, come in open. Always coming in open first. Slowly we can always go down. We can't go back up. So I'm using my comb to help me feed all this bulk in here. Go through my first pass through, my second pass through, and then I'm going to close this and take off that line right here. Slowly you can see that it's coming off. My next step in this fade is going to be 
coming in and actually lining it up. And I'm not going any C cups today because this is a high fade, but we don't want to take it too high. Therefore, I have created it one centimeter below that vertical bar. I strategically did this. When I do my 0.5 line, you'll see why. With my clipper open and then seeing where this vertical bar, right? It starts right here. I'm going to stop that first guideline right where that vertical bar is. A centimeter, just meet it right there. This allows the high fade to be nice and blurry without making it too high. I'm gonna come in now with my half guard and I'm going to come in one closed and just attacking that line that we just created. See how I'm just using this flick out motion? And as you can see, that line is almost gone. We're gonna come in with our second pass through with it open, blend it into the top. My third pass through is going to be all the way close. See this faint little line right here? We're going to use the corners to take that. Now I'm going to come in and open, do some detail work. I see dark spots here, here, and here. I'm going to use my corners to take that. I'm actually even going to come back in with a one guard and then take all that little bulk that I see. One here, here, here. Coming with it open to take all that. I'm going to come in now with it closed and then take the last this is literally the last step. See how it's just my first pass through and the line's already gone? I'm using a nice flick out motion like this, right? I'm gonna do the same to this side. And as you can see that this line is gone. And now we're going to open it two steps and just go up a little bit higher, okay? My fade is done. Now we're in the detailing process. You have to analyze and see where is the dark spots and where are the imbalances. So right now I can see that there are some here, here, and potentially here. So I'm gonna come in, this looks like roughly a two guys. So I'm gonna come in with a two, and I always start open in the detailing process, and then work my way down. I'm going to always use my corner. See how it's, it's actually angled to where the corner is. Nothing is touching the head besides this corner. Attacking it, and then now that I don't see anything, I'm gonna close it, and then take more. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more. Now move on on to over here. This is a tiny bit more dark spot. I'm going to open, take that little dark spots, and another good technique when detailing is using my comb and the thinning shears. This is very beginner friendly and allows us to take hair without cutting too much off and allow us to blend in because I see a little bit of dark spots here and there's more longer hair. I'm going to use this to refine and I'm gently just taking this little by little. So in a fade, there's always planes of gradients. So this plane is all 0.5. This plane is all 1.5. So you can see that here there's a bit of dark spots, here there's a bit of dark spots. So I'm gonna come in with the one, open, and then attack this dark spots that I see right here. Right? Boom. Boom. Just like so. Over here as well, I'm going to come in and take that. And if it's not cutting much, I'm going to close it halfway, take a little bit more. And then once I've cut that, close it. And as you can see, this plane of field of gradients is nice and refined. Gonna come in with my razor, pulling it this way, and then shaking that nice vertical bar. The lineup is very important. Okay, we're gonna keep this very natural, no enhancements. To give the last finishing touches, I use some holding spray. Just do a light coat, and I'm spraying it real far away, about like 45 centimeters away. Putting my hands in and scrunching, right? When you scrunch, you actually put volume into the hair. I'm going to show you what it looked like before without it faded. And then now this is the after, right? When doing a high fade, it's important to not take the fade too high. That's why in the tutorial, we kept that first guideline a centimeter below that vertical bar. That was how to do a high taper. If you guys enjoyed this one, I dropped videos like this consistently. I did a burst fade, I did tapers. So check out those videos. I'm gonna link them down below and click right here. If you guys found this valuable, drop a like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.